Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Arcade and this is part number 17 of this Gauntlet Arcade Scratch build. Try this level now. Yes guys, in this video we are going to be doing the control panel. Yes, this is the crucial part of the series, the control panel. Now, I've got all the stuff I need to do this control panel. There is no excuses, okay? Um, I've done some work on the artwork itself on the control panel. I've done some holes where the um, joysticks are going, the buttons are going. So I've, I've punctured some holes in, in the um, control panel artwork to, to allow me to put that over the metal plate and get my reference points. As uh, as you all know, this is going to be a difficult um, build, to be honest. Right, um, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to show you guys what's in store. Right, first things first, guys. You can see the um, control panel artwork, um, and I've done some holes. I've worked it all out, and I've got the center points. And how I did this was I took the plate off the joystick and I'll show you um, some um, video now and um, <laughs> happy days it actually lined up pretty well so it gave me exactly the center points and where the um, joystick uh, bolts are going to go as well which is fairly close to the original so it might not be exact you know millimeter exact but it's it's near enough. So anyway, let me just take the artwork and place it on the control panel that I did from plans. And I don't know if you noticed in the last video, um, this actual control panel is slightly too big. Now it's going to be, a, I think, going to be a nightmare to actually try and trim uh, millimeters off. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to have to cut that again. Um, so anyway, and also the T molding slot is wrong with our T molding because the T molding what we got, which I'll, um, I'll show you now, has a lip on it. Um, and to be fair, it's not exactly the same as normal T molding, like this stuff here. Um, so the slot has not got to be center. And also, we got the metal plate to go on top. So that's going to gain height by two and a half millimeters. So we need to cut the metal plate before we go ahead and do any more work. So I'm going to just show you now the metal plate. I just say that artwork looks fantastic on my cabinet. <laughs> but anyway, here's the metal plate, guys. Now this is mild steel. This is two and a half millimeters thick. And um, I don't know if you've noticed, it's quite hard to pick up on the uh, camera, but I've actually drew an outline where where we need to cut this control panel and I simply just place the um, the artwork and traced well is it traced just marked around the um, the artwork to get it precise so it's all ready to be cut so So that's what I did, just pencil marked it all, I taped it down, pencil marked it around, so hopefully um, when I cut it, it's going to be the, the exact size. Now when we do cut it with our um, angle grinder, with our metal blades on, we're going to have to cut this side of the line and not dead centre, because otherwise if we cut dead centre, we're going to actually make the control panel slightly smaller, and so we need to then trim the artwork, which I don't really want to do. So and also we don't want to make it too we don't want to make it big <laughs> and then we, we have got to shave off millimeters. So if I gotta go wrong then I'd rather go smaller than bigger. So at least we can trim the artwork. Um that one's gonna know a, a few millimeters around, are they? <laughs> anyway guys, so that's that. So once the metal plates all um cut up and to the right shape, then Basically, we're going to just get a, a pen and just mark where these holes are going and then we're going to 
attempt to drill through this metal, this mild steel plate. So we've got we've got this here. Um, this is a cutting and taping fluid. Uh, tap, sorry, tapping fluid. And basically, it just saves your drill bits. So we apply that before we drill, so it keeps the drill bits nice and cool, and we won't we won't blunt our blades, our bits. So hopefully that'll work. We've got all the bits. I've got the 29 millimeter hole for the buttons, and I've got a 44 millimeter for the joystick. So um, which I'll go and get now. So this is um, the one for the uh, joysticks, and. Um, now George did say a, this hole is roughly around 44 millimeters, which I've got a 44 millimeter drill bit. I just hope it doesn't actually make it wider by about 45. Does it matter? I don't think so. We don't want to go any bigger than that, otherwise the um, the washer on the joystick would be too small. <laughs> so yeah, I've got the I've got a new angle grinder. I've got the metal bits for it. So our first mission is to get set up outside and we're going to cut this metal plate to the shape of this artwork. So let me go ahead and set up. Guys, we're back in the garage now. I've cut the um, metal plate now, and um, I think it went really well. I went through um, two blades, and um, well, you can you can see uh, the original MDF cut out was is slightly wrong, but it's it's whether I can actually trim that much off. I might give it a go. I I don't know yet. Um, but anyway, um, I've done done the cut, it went really well and um, we've we put the um, artwork on now and um, it's not too bad to be fair um, so it might be a case of just taping this down and then just marking where the holes are and getting ready to um, drill these buttons so yeah it's not too bad guys is it really uh, a little bit poking through there, but I haven't really um, lined it up yet, but it's not too bad, not too bad, not too bad at all. At the back I've got a bit more of a, a gap, but I'm, I'm not that bothered about that. I'd rather trim a bit of the uh, artwork away than um, trying to trim the metal plate. But um, yeah, I think that was a success on that one. So yeah, it's bloody heavy as well. But anyway guys, what, what we're going to do now is I'll tape this up so it won't move and then I'm just going to mark all the holes with some uh, felt tip pen and then I'll use a, a centre punch to punch the hole into the plate so when I start to drill my drill bit does not slip away from that mark so that is the plan so I'm going to get ready now and then we're going to get the camera back out and then we're going to start cutting these holes um, so uh, which holes should we do first should we do the joysticks or should we do the buttons I think we should do I don't know I don't know let's start small <laughs> let's start small anyway let's get the camera back out and um, let's get going on it all done so on to the button holes
Right guys, finally finished the metal plate. All the holes are drilled for the buttons and the joysticks and for the um, joystick bolts. Um, the only ones we haven't done um, are the ones that are holding the clamps, the latches. So I don't know um, where they're going at the moment so um, I'm not doing them until I get the latches. So I didn't film everything because I didn't want to bore you but let me tell you I actually enjoyed doing <laughs> this metal plate. It wasn't, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, it did help using this stuff um, so when you was actually drilling the holes um, you was sort of lubricating the drill bit to keep it cool so it actually cut into the metal pretty easily. Um, yeah I know it's only two and a half millimeter but without that stuff it would have just burnt the drill bits out and um, when they're 10, they're just over 10 quid each, it's a lot of money to replace but they can do, these two drill bits can do more holes <laughs> in the future so yes happy days on that so now we got the um, metal plate done um, all we need to do now we've got a template so I have bought some more MDF um, we're gonna put this on the MDF and we're gonna just pencil mark all the way around and that will be our exact measurements for our MDF control panel so we can mark them up and we can cut them and they should be identical well they should be identical so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and let's mark him up so guys I've got the MDF it's 18 millimeters um, by 610 millimeters by um, 1200 millimeters uh, long so plenty of room here can I get two control panels out of this piece no I can't <laughs> so anyway we're gonna place this this is so easy now guys isn't it um, we place this one um, on here I'll probably uh, bring them out like that um, I don't want to waste too much, but hey, it's easier to set up the um, clamps if I do it in the middle. So we're going to just line them up like so, and then we're just going to pencil mark him all the way around, and then he's ready for our cuts. Right, I just stuck a couple of clamps on just to hold him down, and um, I'll just pencil mark him now. Now, it would be a little bit bigger than the actual metal plate. Now, if we cut in the inside of the line, we should be spot on with the plate. Well, what I would like to do is leave the plate on like that, and I just get my saw and just run out that like that. I wonder if I could jigsaw it, but whether I can get a straight, straight cut, I don't know. I just don't know. So anyway, we're going to take it outside and we're going to cut it. Right guys, I've taken the MDF out and I've cut it now to the metal plate. And as you can see, I've um, sanded it so it's all nice and flush to the um, metal plate. I did do a little mistake around here, but it's not the end of the world. Um, I just cut a, a little bit off the um, MDF on the corner. Um, my measurement wasn't quite right, but you're not going to see it. Um, so our next task is the T-molding. So we're going to have to put our router on our old control panel, get it center, make sure it's right, make sure the slot, the um, disc slots into the slot 
and then we can transfer that onto the metal plate and we can sit the router on the metal plate and then that should give us our T-molding slot. It won't be centre to the MDF but it would be centre from the um, metal plate to the bottom here because we've got to add an extra two and a half millimetres on our T-molding slot so it comes up two and a half millimetres. That's the plan anyway. I'll do a little sample make sure we're right. And then um, I've marked out as well where all the controls are going and I've also done the template for the cutout which I'll show you over here excuse the mess there's the pet template as well you've got warrior on the left Valkyrie wizard and elf so I'm going to cut that out as well but I'm not going to cut it out until I've done the T molding um, so I, I want a nice secure uh, bed so the, the, the router sits on the uh, metal plate and then we can um, go around cut the slot and then maybe or maybe even try and get the T-molding on to see if it fits all the way around and um, once once it's done and it looks good we can take it back off because we don't really want to put that on until the artwork goes on so anyway I'm going to take it outside now and I'm going to cut the T-molding slot I won't show you guys because I've done this already you know the, the principle of it all. I don't want to bore you, so we want to get straight on and um, with the build. So guys, the slot's now done for the T-molding, and I want to take this back outside and actually put the T-molding on now. Um, you're thinking, why are you doing it now? Well, I want to just try and get it in position, get it on, and then I can whip him off and then put the artwork on, knowing that the T-molding is ready to go on without fiddling because I don't know how this T-molding is going to get around these corners. Now this is a special T-molding that I used back in the day. It's got a little lip on it and I'm just concerned that's not going to go round not going to go round the corners very easily so I may have to heat, heat it up and um, with a heat gun just to bend it round the corner. I don't know, it might go on all right. So we're gonna start at the back and work our way around here, go all the way around and then come back to the other side. Now I've done the center point. Um, so we're gonna start there. And um, fingers crossed this is gonna go all right. If it goes on nicely, I'll take some photos, whip him back off. We'll take the metal sheet off and then we're gonna cut cut the joysticks and the um, and the buttons out um, with that funny little shape <laughs> you'll see in a minute so I'm going to take this back outside we're going to clamp him down I've got a rubber mallet and we're going to try and attempt to get this team all in on now T-molding has completely destroyed my slot, so I'm going to have to um, get a heat gun on it and try and warm it up to get around the bend better. So, fingers crossed.
Okay, just got a heat gun on it, just to bend these corners around a bit better, and, and to be fair, it's not too bad. Um, it's a lot better than what it was. Um, what I need to... I'm going to have to stick these down, I think. Because this T-mold in here is quite thick, and uh, the slot's not that good. Anyway, let's get back in the garage. Well guys, I brought it back in the garage now. Um, sorry about the noise from the neighbour. Um, well, I think it was a sort of a success because I didn't know what I was doing with this t moulding. Um, it wouldn't go around the corners very easily. But as you can see, it's not too bad. Now, I had to put a heat gun on the corner and I think I'll put the heat gun back on it just to get this um, looking a little bit better but it's, it's a lot better than what it was it was sticking up too much and I've sort of shrunk the plastic back um, and I think it's not a bad job to be fair um, I could do it better on my second attempt but um, I think for now is, is pretty good because oh I didn't think it was going to end up like that but I will need to um just take him back off and clean the slots up because I have completely destroyed the slots where the, the actual T, T bit was um thicker than the actual slot um but I'll glue him down anyway once the artwork's on um what I didn't want to do is put the heat gun on on the corners and it could affect the the um, artwork so I want to do it now so I'll probably have to take the tea moulding off um, for now um, at least it's cut up ready ready to go and um, I, I don't think I've done a bad job guys to be fair um, let me know in the comments below um, I know you can't really see it um, I'm doing the best I can to show you guys but I think once the artwork's on um, it, it'll look okay uh, but it is a lot better than I actually thought um, and it fits quite nicely at the back here as well which I'm uh, fairly surprised about but anyway it's on um, so I will need to paint this as you can see um, it's just raised up slightly here it's about a millimetre bay at the end of the day we're gonna paint this black anyway ain't we so um, what do you think then guys it was that was hard that was hard. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna take this metal plate off now, and I'm gonna cut this section over here. Um, ready for the joysticks. Um, so that's that's my next plan. Um, yep. So you can see the uh, T molding lifting up here a little, can't you? So once he's glued down here, because he, it's a little bit on the loose side, but I'll, I'll glue it down where the slots are not very good. So yep, I'm happy with that. So on to the next bit. Well right, guys, it's day two now of the control panel build. And um, because we put the T-mold in around the control panel, um, it it damaged the slot for some reason um, this um, MDF is very um, it's not as strong as it should be um, so when when you tap the two molding in it actually split the the um, slot so what I've done is I filled it in with this wood filler now this stuff goes off really hard I used it for um, filling in the holes on the cabinet and also the bezel um, around here I filled all this in with this stuff and I highly recommend this stuff it doesn't take long to go off within a couple of minutes um, so yeah I mean it's it's rock hard now so I'm going to rewrite this and then um, so we're done for the team molding and then I'm out of breath <laughs> and then um, I think we're going to go on to do cutting the the, um, the shape out may do that. I've got the hinges as well now. I took them off my old arcade cabinets. Um, I've got four of them. 
so we can have a little look at doing that as well and also I've got the brackets now the brackets I've just they're just normal um, plate brackets really um, cheap as chips 20 20p um, I'm hoping that I can cut it down um, and just use this section here so we would cut this bit off and then that fit nicely at the back somewhere here so um, yeah so let's get on and, and do that I've got the spray paint as well for the control panel for the metal part which is again this paint is a flat mat I used it for the metal plate up here so it's just so it's it's it, it, it won't rust basically when when I put the artwork on um, so hopefully we can um, we can slide it on and uh, it should be okay right then guys I got a lot to do today so let's start and um, let me reroute uh, the uh, slot right guys the slots done and I've actually put the t-molding on now so um, I've got a little gap here which I'm not bothered about at the moment because I did put this T-molding on and it was a perfect cut. Um, so I'm not I'm not bothered about that at the moment. So um, I can always put a little piece on there. But for now, what we need to do, I'm going to put get the heat gun on it, and um, where it just sticks up proud here, what the heat gun will do will shrink the T-molding and it will just bend it over so we've got a nice flush finish on the T-molding and also I want to get rid of this um, little bit of damage here which I did that with the heat gun um, at the end of the day I, I've never done this before so it's a trial and error um, what's the worst case of scenario we damage the T-molding and I have to go and get another piece but at least I know what I'm doing on the next piece but for now I think it looks okay <laughs> so I'm gonna get the heat gun on and I'm just gonna <clears throat> just run over it and see if we can just fold this uh, you can see it it's just sticking up proud here and it, it just push it back down into position so it's a nice flush finish so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, I'll set the camera up so you can see what I'm doing and we'll go from there guys uh, put the heat gun on it now and uh, it's pretty good and uh, I'm gonna let that cool down now and then we're gonna put the control panel back onto the uh, camera and we're gonna mark where the brackets are gonna go for the latches Right then guys, um, I've marked up the inside uh, of the cabinet, um, which is the frame, and you can see on the back of the control panel I've marked it up, so that gives me an indication where I've got to put the brackets for clamping this cabinet down. Now, I have the latches and I have the brackets. Now, these aren't original brackets but they're going to have to do um, and what I'm going to have to do is cut them down so we're going to cut them off here so the latch will fit on inside here hopefully that's the plan um, whether I do because on the original cabinet it is a sort of a u-shaped um, bracket um, is another thing I might do but I don't know yet. Knowing me, I'll probably end up doing it. But uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut these down now, and then we're going to take the two molding back off. We're going to unscrew the metal plate, and then we're going to get access to the the MDF uh, control panel, and then we're going to cut out where the joysticks are going and the buttons. So we need to do that. So loose to do. 
it's all over the place at the moment but it'll make sense as we go guys done the cutout now um, as you can see is it's upside down at the moment because I'm trying to work out where the brackets are going um, it's something like like that um, so I need to glue these pieces in um, I'm trying to copy if we go over here um, I'm going to try and copy what they're doing here. So they got a piece of wood um, on these brackets. Now I don't know why, uh, maybe it gives it a bit more strength when the latch catches it, I don't know. But I'm copying it and that's what we're doing. So I need to glue these with a bit of PVA now and then flip them upside, well flip them the right way around and then just position them um, so they, they sit in the cabinet nicely because this here is my ledge so we don't want to we want to get this right <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and glue them down get it in position and then we're going to try and connect some of these uh, latches and um, brackets up alright okay, guys back in the garage and I've actually managed to put a latch on the control panel. Um, I have the bolt. It's slightly bigger than um, the joystick bolts, but I, I don't mind that because it's holding the control panel down. So um, I want it a little bit beefy. Um, that's my choice. That's the only bolts I had. Um, <laughs> let me just go and show you the uh, joystick bolts a moment. Right, as you can see, there, <laughs> there's a huge difference in size, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I'm quite happy with that. Um, so I found these, these bolts um, from an old, from one of my arcade cabinets. I can't remember which one it was. Um, so um, I don't know what it was used for, but um, they're going to be used for um, the latches. So happy days on that one. So, I put them in, it works nice, it holds it down, it might be a little bit difficult putting it in the, um, doing it this way, let's just reach in a minute and see if I can um, get to it, yeah, that's okay, yeah. It's not too tight and it's not too loose so happy days I'm gonna go and do the other four and um, fingers crossed <laughs> I can get them in but it's looking good so far day three guys and all the latches are on now all in the right position um, they all work happy days I was a little bit worried about that um, as you can see on the control panel itself um, 
best I can do on that. Um, they work. Uh, that's the main thing. So what we need to do now then is take these bolts out and then we're going to need to drill our four bolts in our metal plate. Once we're done there, we've put the metal plate back onto the um, wooden control panel and see if it all works nice and then once once we're done on that I think it's time to um, be ready for a spray paint in the metal plate and also getting this sealed as well. Um, underneath you're only going to see this section and this little section here so we need to paint that black so I'll have to do an undercoat and paint that black um, but I'll do it on this on this video at the moment so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and cut well drill those four holes yeah let's do it right guys it's all ready now to be spray painted so we're gonna do the metal plate and also we're gonna do the bolts as well uh, we've got the joystick bolts now I've keyed them by scratching a, some sandpaper on them and especially these bolts can you remember what they look like they're all rusted and they had the old paint on now I've taken all that off um, just using sandpaper and um, we're gonna just spray the whole lot now with this bl flat black um, paint so it stopped raining so we're gonna go out into the uh, back garden and we're gonna spray paint um, this stuff right now Guys, we're ready to um, put the artwork on our control panel now. Um, we're all ready. Um, we've got the rapid tack, we've got the paper towels, we've got the squeegees. Now I'm probably going to use this edge because on the previous video, when I put the artwork on, on on the experiment, it did scratch the surface of the graphics. Or it wasn't the best graphics. It wasn't a toughened vinyl, um, but I don't want to take any chances. Got a Stanley blade, um, got a load of them, so to cut the holes out. Um, but before we get going on it, um, the prep work I've done on on this control panel. If we flip over, I've actually painted the underneath of the control panel now, guys. Um, I put one coat of MDF um, primer on um, this stuff here, all over. So the MDF is sealed. Now you don't have to do this, but I've done it on the whole cabinet and um, so I need to do it on the control panel really. Um, and also I put two undercoats on and I've um, using the same acrylic, um, is it acrylic? Um, yeah, acrylic undercoat, yes it is. Um, 
and also I then spray painted um, I didn't use the same paint as I did on the cabinet I used the um, spray paint here um, same as the use the same paint for the um, marquee so um, yeah and also the um, the metal plate as well I've spray painted that as well so um, we're just going to give it a light sand to get all the imperfections out um, get it super smooth clean it up and then we're ready for the vinyl but yeah so I, I, I've done a couple of coats of um, spray paint on on this now on on the reference photos I've, I've got um, no one's no one's got this uh, painted the underneath. No, you're not going to see it, but um, they just left it um, natural. And you know what? Um, I thought no, I, I can't do that. I've got to paint it because the T molding um, is about a millimeter too short at the the bottom edge. So I wanted to to make sure that it hides it by painting it black. So we're all up and running on uh, running on that. I just need to take the masking tape off. Um, and then we're ready to um, get the vinyl on the artwork. Let me just put it here. So let's get the plate. We'll get the tripod set up. God, that's heavy, that metal plate. <laughs> struggling here. Um, I'm going to get the metal plate all ready. Um, we're going to give it a, um, a sand down. Let me let me put the tripod uh, camera back on the tripod a moment. Right then, so we're gonna just um, give it a light sand a minute. Um, I probably want to get some new sandpaper because he is a little bit messy. So I'll just go ahead and do that a minute. Okay, this is a 240 uh, grit sandpaper, and we're just gonna lightly go over this um, just to, to take the imperfections out, get this super smooth, and then we'll clean it. Now, should I have um, painted this or should I have left it um, unprimed? I, I don't know. Just let me know what your thoughts are. attack as well um, for you guys who live in the UK this is really hard to get hold of um, if you live in America this is pretty easy to get hold of but um, I'm using the wet method um, so um, I just don't fancy putting this on um, dry so I'm just gonna give it a good clean Instead of John's arcade on this, so uh, I've done all my research. So I just hope my ability now can um, pull this through. This stuff absolutely smells divine. <laughs> so I just, yeah, that's super smooth now, guys. That's really smooth.
uh, to get the tap this uh, cloth and pick up all, all the dust. Yeah, that's much better. That's nice and smooth. All right, let's get the artwork. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. <sighs> this is it guys, this is it. Here's the artwork. <laughs> so we got to get this spot on, haven't we? Ah oh, dear, I'm not looking forward to this. <sighs> so we got to get this absolutely spot on now. Doesn't help having a black background as well. Well, then, guys, <laughs> I've clamped it down. I put some masking tape on, um, so hopefully, fingers crossed now, we can actually go ahead and um, and do this. Um, if I put one here, put some more masking tape on, and we'll start either by, um, stop it all moving basically, all this. We'll start here, we'll lift this corner up and peel it off. Uh, well, hopefully guys, all my holes are lined up the best I can, so without further ado, let's do it. Oh. This is hard, this is hard. So I'm going to lift that end up, rapid tack on here, it's a bit of dirt there, that. I'll just give it another wipe a minute. Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> So artwork is very, um, very, very uh, nerve-wracking, guys. You would not believe. Um, we have a break here. Probably I needed to. Um, Start at the bottom and work my way at the top, I would imagine. But um, for now, what could go wrong, eh? <laughs> this one now. Uh, let's do it. No excuses now, eh? Let's just place the artwork on and then we'll squeeze all the uh, rapid tack out. Thank you. 
originally made a template on this with all the uh, holes so you can drill the holes better than doing what I did and you've got a nice flat surface then guys <laughs> uh, let that bond for a bit. I can't wait to get the garage back. It's right there at the moment. The control panel has taken over the garage. Ah. <laughs> uh. A well deserved cup of tea after this. Oh, am I doing it right guys? Am I doing it right? Oh, I can feel all the comments coming through now. Alright. So let's just get this on slowly. Can be hard for the uh, artwork on the side panels. Squeezing that out now. out as well. Oh. Ah, this is nerve wracking. <laughs> uh. sheet down. I only put this metal plate up because I couldn't see the edge of the um, control panel.
This is a long winded video guys isn't it? This is a tough material, I'll give it that. But only time will tell how tough it really is. Of course, all the uh, rapid tacks going into the, all the holes as well. So let's get these edges done because it's the vulnerable bits, I suppose, isn't it? I'm going to have a cup of tea now, I'm going to leave this to dry for an hour and then we're going to put the um, put it back onto the control panel, the MDF control panel bolt it down and then we're going to put the tea moulding back and now, so um, it's now time to put the tea moulding on and then we'll put it on the control panel so let's go and let's get the tea moulding on okay Let's go and put this tea moulding on. Hopefully it will wrap around all right. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put this tea moulding on guys and then um, off. I'll finish it off. But it's looking good. Because I've only got about a minute left <laughs> before the film runs out. Yes guys, the two mouldings on, the bolts are in, it's all clamped down, so all we need to do now is to cut the holes out for the buttons and the joysticks. But before we get and do that, let's just have a little close look at the work I've done. Now I've made a few little minor errors, um, something to learn about, especially with the T moulding. Now, to get this nice and flush around here, we had to use a heat gun on it to shrink the plastic. And it was all great, but as you took it off, it probably shrunk a little bit more and it left a little gap here. So I'm not that bothered about that. I learned by my mistakes. If I ever happen to um, do this again, I know to heat put the heat on the T-moulding and then leave it on the uh, control panel. Um, and also probably wouldn't use MDF wood because it's too soft and banging this T-moulding in on the slot, it did damage it a few times and I had to repair it and that annoyed me. But um, another little minor issue is the bolts. Um, I over tightened them and they actually um, damaged the vinyl ever so slightly. Well, on the original um, metal plate, they had the the bolt um, holes cut out using a, a punch, which left a square hole, if that makes sense, a square hole. But anyway, um, so the bolt used to have a square bit at the bottom of the um, bolt, so when you put the nut on, 
it stops the bolt from twisting it makes sense but anyway it is what it is there's nothing I can do about it unless I want to build it again and I think it looks all right to be fair <laughs> <laughs> I I haven't done a bad job for the first attempt but um, for now I want to just flick the lights off and I put a light inside um, this cabinet and just to highlight where the holes are and we're gonna have a little look see if we're in the um, the play area because um, again another another little minor mistake I, I use the um, 44 millimeter um, hole cutter and if I had to do it again I probably would have used a 40 millimeter because you do gain a couple of millimeters when you actually do cut the hole so um, I'm actually gone over the um, 44 millimeters. I'm probably about 45, 46 millimeters uh, on the hole. So we are sort of close to the edge. But anyway, it is what it is. We're not too bad. So let me go and turn the light off, put the light on inside, and we can take a little look. So guys, I'll just switch off the uh, lights now, and we can see um, the holes light up. Um, on the control panel um, we can have a little look see where we are if we're out um, on warrior you can see we're sort of in the ballpark it's on the edge here it could have come up a little bit but hey it is what it is no one's really gonna look at that um, and also the um, the fire buttons they're, they're not too bad on warrior um, Valkyrie um, again, we're sort of on the left hand side rather than the right hand side, but again, we're not we're not that far away, are we? We're sort of in the middle, aren't we? <laughs> Am I trying to convince myself? <laughs> but again, on on the um, buttons, we're we're pretty much um, okay. There are 20, 29 millimeter holes, so there is movement to slide them um, that extra millimeter. This goes to wizard. Uh, wizard's not looking too bad to be fair um, it's sort of spot on, on on the wizard joystick and again on the buttons we're pretty good and now I had to do this by eye guys I really did so uh, hats off to me I, I got it pretty much um, the best I could um, going to um, Questor the Elf um, again um, on the um, joystick we're not too far away, are we, to be fair? Um, so, it could have come over slightly to the right, but um, hey, it is what it is. And on the buttons again, we're pretty much spot on. So yeah, uh, job well done. So I'm going to leave those lights on, and um, we're going to get a Stanley knife now. And we're going to do the uh, buttons on all the characters. We're, we're going to leave the joystick ones out for now, uh, because I want to get the practice on the on the buttons. Um, because you're not really going to see the holes, but you are going to see the holes on the joysticks because the dust caps are underneath and not on the top. So you will see um, the nice, well, you will see the cut edge on the hole. So uh, we need to get that spot on. So anyway, let me set the camera up and I'll probably do one or two holes and then I'll go off and do the rest myself. But um, I think the tactic is get a sharp Stanley knife, a brand new blade, and we're going to just do a cross to slice it uh, up and down, left and right. And then we're going to just trim uh, the edge away. So that's, that's the plan. So let me go ahead and let's get ready for it. So guys, I want to just come in here with a brand new Stanley blade. And um, we're going to just do the magic button a minute. Um, so I'm going to just come in and just pierce the vinyl. And then I'm just going to, I could just fold it down and push the button through, but I really want to practice. Um, see if I can get a nice, nice circle. It is quite difficult to to do, so I might have to not talk. <laughs> Just 
trim it slightly and then I can do the better. Put the big lights on. The only problem I can't see the edge. That's the uh, that's the only problem. I think it's just a case of taking your time on it, guys. Especially on the joysticks. Get a button in there. That is not easy. That is not easy. I'm actually now bringing the blade down on an angle that seems to be a better a slightly better finish Okay, that's the first one done guys, a bit nerve wracking but um, it's not a bad one, so let me just show you there, I'm going to just put the um, button in just to see how it looks, there we go then. got the movement look guys to get it in a better location that's actually pretty much spot on let me just take the camera off the tripod a moment and you can see it for yourself let me zoom back out so I got plenty of movement here to get it spot on and that's not a bad a bad show is it guys I mean it's pretty good cut out there uh, I'd be happy if I could do that on the joystick so yes great so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest I'm not gonna put the buttons in um, at the moment but um, 
we're just going to set them all up like this so we can just have a little look. Well guys all the uh, holes are cut out now um, as you can see we're not too far away um, it's quite neat than the joystick ones uh, same principle as the buttons I took my time to get a nice nice cut so yeah looking good guys looking good just slightly out on the elf one um, you can just see there but it could have come over slightly but it's it's still right, you know. It's very hard to get this spot on. I mean, look look at the wizard. It is spot on, but the elf just slightly out. Probably the drill bit slips, but who knows? But anyway, I'm not worried about it because it looks it looks great, and we're slowly getting there, guys. Well, then, guys, we're going to end the video now um, on this control panel build because it's been a long video and I don't want to bore you guys so um, I think we'll end it right here and then um, the, the next uh, part of the uh, gauntlet build we'll, we'll probably get the side art on get all the artwork on and then the, um, then after that then we'll, we'll go back to the um, control panel with putting the joysticks and buttons on and and, and give it a, a play test as well um, so guys thanks for watching and um, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave any comments below. Did I do alright on that control panel? Well, it was hard work guys, it probably, I, it's probably the fourth week now. Um, I haven't worked on it every day, it's only been weekends, a couple of hours in the evening if, if I can um, have had the energy. Um, so yeah, I, I want to get this video uploaded now, so you know. That's why I'm ending it. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.